CM 365 all about Carnatic music. Today I'm going to share with you an interesting incident which happened in the life of Sri Tyagaraja and which led him to compose a particular composition. Once Sri Tyagaraja was on a journey to Tirupati and he was passing via the Nagalapuram forest. Of course he was traveling in a palanquin which was carried by his uh, disciples and he was going uh, past the forest. What had happened earlier was that Kovur Sundara Mudaliyar, he was a great patron of music and uh, without the knowledge of Tyagarajar, what he did was he took about, he had about 1000 gold coins which he hid in the palanquin in which Tyagaraja was traveling and he told the disciples that let it be there in the palanquin and uh, so that you can put it to some proper Rama Kaingaryam that is for doing some charity purpose or for some religious activities it can be used by you. So telling that to the disciples he kept those thousand gold coins in the palanquin. And this was of course not revealed to Sri Tyagaraja because you know that if he had known that he would not even have accepted it. During the journey what happened was that it was past night and pretty dark at that time and suddenly some thieves came and attacked them. They started pelting stones at the palanquin. Tyagaraja was bewildered because uh, according to him there was nothing in the palanquin really uh, worthy or uh, valuable to be taken. So he was just wondering why were the thieves trying to attack this uh, palanquin. Actually the thieves had uh, come to know about the thousand gold coins which was kept in the palanquin secretly and it was that they were targeting at. The disciples then slowly revealed to Tyagaraja that yes. Kovur Sundar Mudaliyar had given the thousand coins and he had kept it secretly in the palanquin without the knowledge of Tyagaraja. Hearing this, uh, Tyagaraja was first of course a bit bewildered and uh, after that he said that if it was, uh, if it was really kept by Mudaliyar for doing Kaingariyam, then in that case let Rama himself come and protect the money. Let us not make any effort on our part really to protect this or try to rescue ourselves from the thieves. And he suddenly burst into a beautiful song, Mundu Venuka Iru Prakkala Thode in Darbar, which goes like this. I'll just uh, tell you the meaning in a nutshell before I sing this song to show how pertinent this song is to this particular context. Mundu Venuka Iru Prakkala Thode Mura Khara Hara Rara where he calls Rama Raghunandana and pleads him to guard him from the side, front and rear. Mura Khara Hara that is one who has destroyed the Asuras like Mura and Khara I do not find anywhere a charm and grace like yours. Rara, please come and protect me. O Gajarakshaka, that is one who is the saviour of the Gajendra elephant. O Rajakumara, that is O Prince. Omkara Sadhana, one who actually abides in the Pranava. Omkara, Rara, please come. Bhagavata Priya Bhagabrovaya. O Lord, loved by the great Bhagavatas and devotees, Tyagaraja Nuta Rara, that is, please protect me. O Lord, who is praised by Tyagaraja Rara, please come and protect me. We'll just listen to the song before I narrate the incident further. Mundu Venu Kayagiru Prakala Thode Mundu Venu Kairu Prakala Thode Mura Khara Hara Ra Ra Mundu Venu Kairu Pre 
ಅನುಪಲ್ಲವಿ ಎಂದು ಗೇ ರಘು once he sang this song a uh, wonderful miracle happened actually and uh, rama and lakshmana actually came there they came and protected the mani and his devotees the thieves on seeing rama and lakshana were uh, lakshmana were totally aghast and uh, they really felt that what they were doing was wrong and uh, here was a great saint in front of him in uh, front of them so they immediately prostrated before tyagarajar and uh, took his apology from him for having attacked the palanquin they also told him that indeed they had seen rama and lakshmana coming they had seen with their own eyes um, rama and lakshmana and uh, that's why they felt that this was a wrong thing that they had done and they begged for forgiveness from tyagaraja in return tyagaraja uh, told them that it was indeed their great blessing in fact to have the divya darshanam of uh, rama and lakshmana and he forgave them and he proceeded along in his journey thus we see that this particular instance is really testimony actually to the fact that when you are a true devotee of god when you completely surrender unto god he is definitely there to protect you in time of need cm 365 all about carnatic music 